<laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome, my fellow Aeosians. And welcome to Ilmor. If you guys are new to the channel, I welcome you guys to Final Fantasy XIV MMORPG. And, you know, it's the best story-driven game. Ilmor is a Shadowbringers area unlock when you further progress the storyline in Final Fantasy XIV. This place is pretty. But, you know, the cat boy is back and I'm really excited. It's been a while and I am ready to react the new storyline in Shadowbringers 5.55 patch and I have no idea what to expect beyond this point. <laughs> I have not done the latest near raid as well and I've heard it's pretty epic and fun so that will be interesting. So fasten your seatbelt and get ready for a brand new storytelling and an epic adventure in the Final Fantasy XIV in 4K. <laughs> I love my character. Okay, okay, let's go! Oh, I miss this guy. <laughs> okay, so let's proceed. I look so hot. <laughs> this is a cloud glamour, actually. Where I became a veteran. Um, It's a veteran reward. How many days you totally did, um, subscribe. And I have been subscribed for almost three years. And I've returned again. And I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Oh my god, the, mu <laughs> the music! Okay, uh, I need to just uh, reduce the master volume. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so here I am. I'm a tank technician basically, or a tank. Yeah, I prefer to be more or less uh, a tank and a healer, but you know, group finders prefer to have um, roles, uh, preferred roles like tank more of tank role <laughs> so yeah i've been training for this moment as a tank uh, i love how i pose look at my pose anyway i have other glamours as well i have other classes as well i have the astrologian astrologian yeah don't don't, don't mind the dress well you know it's pretty <laughs> um what else i have the gunbreaker which comes with the shadowbringers expansion pack yeah, pretty cool. I grind the boss jar for this relic. <laughs> then I stopped grinding for boss, the boss jar for like for almost three years now. Whoa! Oh. Have a healing. Ooh. Well, you wanna versus me? <laughs> How about this? Okay, uh, so back to where I was stating <laughs> So back what, to what I was saying um, I have um, DPS as well I got some Samurai nin I have an up, up level up a Ninja Dancer, Black Mage, Machinist, Summoner And White Mage And Scholar So Now <sighs> I miss this. <laughs> alright, alright. So let's uh, continue the next main scenario quest. The MSQ. The Admiral's Resolve. Where is this? Idleshire. You again, people. Alright, Idleshire is located in... Idleshire is located in Ishgard. So I can mount. I forgot what my mount is. Oh, <laughs> I remember there. I've 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 grind um, beast stripe quest uh, for the mount. <laughs> oh god, this is adorable. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I press one, is it sure? <laughs> oh god, I miss this game so much. We So I have forgot the storyline now, so <laughs> I don't know what to expect now. I have Grahatia here, Alfino and Alize. Hey babe. How are you? Well then my friends, let us return to Limsa Lominsa and deliver the good news to the Admiral. A word to the officer in Bulkward Hall should be sufficient to secure us an audience. Oh, let's go back Limsa Luminza. 
Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, if, if you guys uh, don't realize this, uh, there's an icon on top beside my name. That's a return player. There's a new player icon. <laughs> and some uh, non-displayed because maybe they are sub, sub, uh, maybe because they are subs. I had a guitar. What is it? Whoa. I'm, uh, where's the money? Gratitude. Oops. Let me just, uh, Okay. Wow, he's very good. Okay, so where do I go? Okay. I haven't completed most some of the missions. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Hey, babe. Even as we speak, we are weaving a new future. And when it all becomes history, I hope that those who follow may look back with gladness. If we offer them the means to cure their temper, the beast tribes are far more likely to listen. True? Through the Admiral is not expecting us, I am certain she will want to hear our report. Come, let us request an audience with the Lady Admiral. Why, Katero? Yes, I am back. Tidings from the Admiral, you say. She is presenting receiving guests. But for the scions, I know she will make an exception. Follow me. Ooh, they are negotiating again, Beast Driver. Hey guys, my friends, what brings you here this day? What? <laughs> Is that true? I have no idea what they're talking about. I, the Navigator, a cure for tempering. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember a cure for tempering. As often as I've been awed of you, Scions, I would not have thought of it possible. Everything the Scions do is possible. And yet it is, Emerald. We have done it here in Limsa. A production of more familiars has already begun. Ah yes, the creation of the familiars. You have my thanks. Truly, this will do much to advance the cause of peace. Yet I fear it will take more to close the rift twixt man and beast man. Yeah, he's always been like that though. Since I start playing this game. Bah! Even to speak thus divides us. Ugh. <sighs> Welcome as it is, a cure will not guarantee reconciliation between our peoples. For those summoning and the tempered may serve to fuel the conflict, they are but symptoms of it. The beast tribes are basically talking like this. <laughs> okay, no, no. If we are to resolve the primal problem once and for all, we must address the cause. We must strive for mutual understanding and find a way to leave our bloody past behind. A wise words, Admiral. Twas I who moved the Alliance renewed to push for peace. Since our ancestors came to this shore some seven centuries past, we Lominsens have been at odds with those who share our island home. Save for a brief moment of cooperation of the Kobolds, our history has been one of near constant territorial squabbling. I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meanwhile, our struggle with the Sahagin for control over the seas has only grown fiercer, a matter made worse by the trice demand calamity driving them to seek new spawning grounds. I like the head. <laughs> Is it a head or a head? With survival at stake, each has no choice but to fight. And so I diminished peace as possible. While we talk until the night, <laughs> impossible is word coined by the weak. I proclaimed to all who listened and then give up. You and yours put me to shame. Aww, Melb. 
Since you led us to victory against the Black Wolf, I don't remember Black Wolf. You have received the impossibility, impossible again and again and again. <laughs> and I thought in high time that I followed suit, hence my proposal to the Alliance Council. She's talking about Uda and Gridania, Ishgard. But no sooner did I reach out to our neighbors in Vilbrand then my own people sought to thwart me. Someone is um, killing you? Someone assassinating you? You speak of the pirates who failed to attend the meeting. I, Acting through a friendly faction among the kobolds, we have intended to seek an audience with the prominent patriarch. But the bloody executioners would never hear of it, and their absence sent a message to the rest. Though they are but one of the three pirate powers, they are the greatest in any attempt at peace who founded without them. Hmm. I am given to understand that their leader, Captain Hillfry, has been bedridden for some time with an ailment of the lungs. <gasps> Lung cancer? Yes, correct. Right. In his absence, his right hand leads a man named Sicard, but recently risen to prominence among their ranks. Save for his disdain for authority, little is known about him. We have invited him to speak with us more than once, but he will not come. I have tasked the yellow jackets and the rogues with uncovering his motives, but then but they have learned not of any value. Yellow jackets are basically their um company. Um Limsa Lo Minsa company. <laughs> Royal company or also like an army style. Oh I look sick. Leave it to us then. We have a nose for the truth. Whatever this sick art wants, we'll find out. Look, look at his nose in this game. It's not that small. <laughs> Truly, I would not be much obliged. I shall look forward to hearing what you have learned then. Good luck. Look, look at his nose. Okay, come on people. I want to see his nose. It's really not that small. Like, come on. In the game, it's just uh, huge, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By way of the first, I suggest we split up and make inquiries around town. Someone must know this card. If you could approach the pirates, Keitaro, the rest of us will seek out merchants and adventurers. There you go. Ooh, okay. I guess I have to go upstairs. Yeah, I have to go upstairs. Alright. There are so many new players, I am so glad, really. <laughs> I started playing this game in Gridania as a white mage. That was my first tune, but you know, when the time progressed, you know, I upgrade myself to become um, versatile and I choose to become a tank and sometimes a DPS. Depending on, you know, like um, the role on dungeons on what they require. Look at that. Beautiful. The moon. I will come for you, moon. Well, let's go! Hi! Curious about Sicard, are you? As am I, my friend, as am I. You don't know him? Sadly, I know nothing of that man. Save the bloody executioner's experience are making a marked improve in their fortunes after his promotion. Ooh, quite how he achieved this is a matter of some debate. As you know, the teles telescrocy <laughs> what the hell? permits us to attack only guardian vessels. Oh, it's a ship name. That's kind of cool. 
Yet these have all but vanished from the sea since the Emperor turned in upon themselves. In order to adapt, we Krakens, so-called pirates, they call themselves Krakens, have taken to reading with the East. But the executioners are less forward-looking. I cannot imagine they would willingly abandon the old ways. So how then? They are lining their coffers. Wherever their secret, they are not likely to share it with their rivals. But mayhap you will have more luck. This is the di this is the event hall. <laughs> I remember the AF castle, the aft castle. I know, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go and talk to another person. Why are we sitting here? <laughs> okay. No, it's not any problem at all. Thanks. Hello, your mates. Eh? You want to know about the card? Eh, uh, wheel bugger is why he is. Found some clever way to make coin, they say. And trading for Monscrate's place at all hail for side. This one. It was a time you race of the execution of fair or pick of the Empire's fleet. But the garlands are gone and them days with them. All into which we all of us have to look for to look for others to make ends meet. With that jump up blig with that jump up blig red, secret lending the juices, whatever it may be. Not that we sirens are struggling mind. We do with enough guarding fish boats for the fish pack and other beastlies. Get the first big hole of Get the fist big hole production for our trouble, see? Quality stuff at the bargain price. This we pass to our sisters, as can't sail on account. All getting old or wounded or with child. A they cook it up and sell it for pre-profit. Simple. Oh, I miss the old days. We don't get me wrong. But when I see the girls with their little ones, I think to myself, to myself, a life of peace and quiet ain't that bad. I... Thanks, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Let's go back down. And so we have arrived. What do you guys found? Hey, babe. Walking through the city once would never suspect that there was an entirely recently bastion of privacy. It's a swift transformation. As when about making my inquiries, I changed upon a shop that boasts a rather enticing selection of sweetmeats. Perhaps we could take a Gabu. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember Gabu. Uh, Grata, there, there, one day. I'm bringing you babe one day. <laughs> okay. I see everyone has returned. Now, who would like to go first? Yeah, as usual, me. <laughs> hmm. So. Just as their imperial prey began to disappear, Sika turned the executioner's fortunes around with a mysterious new source of income. Troubling. Whatever it is, it's nothing to scoff at. According to Taravan Keeper I spoke to, the crew has been indulging themselves as never before, but no amount of drinks seems to lose in their tongue as to how they are coming by their coin. For my part, I spoke to the reporter of the Harbour Herald. The publication has been investigating the secret of Executioner, good fortune and making little headway. Plainly, the Executioners do not wish the nature of their business to be made public. True? And I think I may know why. In the course of making inquiries on Hawker's Alley, an interesting fact came to light. Just as the executioner began to enjoy better fortunes, the price of crystal went into sharp decline. A sudden fall in demand, I was told. Curious. I contact Bordley Boulder, who had been watching their movement of the beast tribe, and my suspicions were proven correct. Despite ever worsening relations between the beast tribe and the Telacross and the fleet, Telacross the Sea, Neither Titans nor Leviathans have made an appearance of late. Suggestions that the Kobos and Sahagin lacked, Sahagin lacked the means which would summon them. 
Ah, absorbing the primals, huh? Do you mean to say the executioners are divesting them of their crystals? All indications point to that conclusion, yes. Though we have not hard evidences yet, you must investigate further. Agreed. So how do we proceed, brother? Oh, I have an idea about that. In fact, I have already taken the liberty of making certain provisions. Oh, you smart boy. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yes, this one. No. If Elfenil's theory proved were found, it would go some way to explaining the Executioner's vehement opposition to peace. Do you remember how Fenner pretended to be some man of merchant to infiltrate you more? <laughs> I remember that. Well, I bet your 10 guild he'll about to reprise that role. <laughs> oh, Alize. Right, let's go. <laughs> this guy is ourselves. During my inquiries, a disgruntled merchant informed me that a wholesaler of crystals had recently arrived in Limsalo Minsa, offering wares at prices far undercutting the competition. After asking around, I was able to gain an introduction and will shortly pose in a potential buyer in a bid to establish crystal provenance. The man is due to be, in, to be at Oscron Embran Embrace in Lower Lanosia. Shortly, I suggest we make our way there at once. Let's go be a trader. So it's just outside. Let's go. The Morberry Ducks. Morberry Dry Ducks. Let's go fly. Hello, Kiki. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> A lot of my old mounds. Finally, I can fly inside um, Eorzean. Eorzea. Uh, no. <laughs> well, let's meet at the bridge. What the hell? Stay safe, Kiki. This is dangerous for you. Oh, hello, Apple. Now, let me see. Oh, we're just spying. I guess so. That appears to be our merchant. Wish me luck. Wait, if he truly is indeed the bloody executioners, he will surely be wary of those allied to the Admiral. The Scions are not least of all. True? Compared to yours and Keitaro's, mine is an unfamiliar face. Let me play the role of buyer. Yeah, with that crystal on top of your being that that is not suspicious at all. <laughs> Graha is right. And even if you aren't recognized on sight, you look too gentle to be mixing with society's underbelly. <laughs> gentle? But very well, I leave it to you, Gra. Go, babe. Got business for me, cat boy? Oh my god! What an insulting! <laughs> I... Um, you're the crystal wholesaler? Oh dear. <laughs> Look, I am... I am... But you're no merchant. So what do you want with the crystals for? Oh, to power his staff. Look at him. Um, I... Uh... Say something. Don't look at us, you idiot! You're giving yourself away! <laughs> at least... <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, I see. You're a weaponsmith, am I right? You need crystals to make stuff, like that fine specimen you've got. I knew it! She noticed that. We noticed it too. Right? 
Th th that's right. I'm indeed a weaponsmith, and I use naught but the finest materials. I bid you show me your wares. Well, we don't invite just anybody into our storehouse. Take time to establish trust, you understand? Let me guess, killing stuff, blah blah blah. Look, I have a large and urgent commission. If the quality is satisfactory, I will not quibble over the price. Alright, it's plain that no ordinary can still adorn your stuff. Well, make an exception. Come with me. It's a trap, Grahatia. Oh my god, this is a trap. Oh, stop that, you. It, it seems to be working. Let's, let's follow them. Right, Elise. Let's go. This is gonna be a trap. Double confirmed. Two! Ooh, flying big. Uh, I forgot what's his name. I forgot this mount's name. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful beast. Here we are. Right. Everyone, stay. Give how long he spent playing the crystal at dark. You think Raha would be a better actor? Honestly, if I hadn't been for that stuff, <laughs> we must remember to thank Tataru. You are right, my girl. High five. Right. They went to that tunnel. Quickly, quietly now. Ooh, so many crystals. Did they really, um, like, dig near the crystal tower? You wouldn't find any finer, especially not for the price. Indeed. I would expect to pay more than double for such quality. How could this possibly be so cheap? <laughs> There's nothing unlawful about them. If that's your worry, they're from Ogormoro, if you take my meaning. Stuff are pure as it gets. You won't be disappointed. So how much did you want? Tomorrow, taken from the coal box, just as we expected. <gasps> oh no, we have been found. That's enough. Shut your gobs and turn around slowly. <gasps> We've been found. Oh, who's this guy? Well, time for a fight. <laughs> oh, we've been captured. I'm Sicard, acting captain of the Bloody Executioners. No need to introduce yourselves. We know who you are. Scions. <gasps> Pikachu face! And we also know you've been chatting to the Admiral. Got eyes and ears everywhere, see? Come, we've been the only true pirate crew left in Limsa. True pirate... Come on. So we established you ain't here to buy crystals. The question is, what are you here for? You are bold to reveal yourself to us without knowing our objective. But that would explain your swift rise to power. You have spoken plain and so I shall return the favour. We came here to learn why the bloody executioners opposed the Admiral's will. And we have our answer. Should Lipsa Lominsa make peace with the kobolds, you would lose the source of your newfound wealth. Very clever, Elfino. That's right. Just to remind you though, we ain't breaking any rules here. 
The law forbids us from attacking any vessel not flying the Imperial flag, but it don't say nothing about Beastmen. Only reason we keep our operation nice and quiet, cause we don't want no one taking our business. Wait, just listen to the end, will you? For what it's worth, I have the highest respect for you and yours. Him especially. Who is he talking about? You fry? While the maelstrom were worrying about dirtying their fancy red blobber, you lot stormed Ugamaro and battered bleeding Titan himself. Raised the mark too when I heard the news. He was there. The news spread very fast. <laughs> And now we follow in your footsteps, making sure the beast may never summon the stinking god again. Particularly your successors, we are. Oh my god, what have we done? When there was still Imperial ship about, we did our bid for Limsa and went after him. But the Guardian's gone, and there's no one left to ply our trade on set the beastmen. So let us have that, eh? It's only fair. You scumbag. Contentious though so may find your views, it is true that you have broken no laws. What are you saying, huh? Yeah, true, he, he didn't break. That's been so. I see no reason why you should not state your case directly to the Admiral's face. True, oh my god, you are pretty smart. Unless the acting captain of the only true pirate crew left in Limsa, Lominsa, have some other cause to hide in the cave. Well said. Well said. Alright. I'll meet with the Admiral. I even provide the venue. The Astalicia. I trust she wouldn't turn down the invitation. Whew. I love that name. Astalicia. That is a pretty cool name for a ship. Relax, bro. <laughs> I look so serious. <laughs> Let's head back to the Admiral then. I have a bad feeling about this. Then don't go inside there. Why you go there? For the sake. Oh, there's a... there's a... Wait. <laughs> Though I have some passing knowledge of prior events, I am yet ill-qualified to meddle in Lominsian affairs. This was not my place to argue with Sicard, much as I would have liked to. <laughs> Nay, it is the Admiral to deal with him and Blood Executioner, both by bringing them to the negotiation table. We have played our part. As the negotiators... True, true, true. I don't know about you, but it was all I could do to stop myself punching Sicard in the smirking face whenever he opened his mouth. <laughs> oh, Elise. Elise, Elise. I thought myself the hunter, but it turns out I was the prey. <laughs> A timely reminder that the pirate's power of Limsa Luminsa are not to be trifled with. They are devious, Elfino. But all's well that ends well. Gratia's timely provocation had the desired effect, and Sicard has agreed to a meeting. Let us hurry back to Limsa Lominsa and pass on his invitation to the Admiral. The Lady Admiral. Let's go back to Limsa. Hey bro. Katero. Your companions have already reported to the command room. Will you be joining them? Yes, of course. Hey guys. While we have no assurance, Sicard will be amendable to reason. There can be no compromise without discussion. Sicard does not want for confidence that much is plain, but I have faith in the Admiral. She has dealt with far worse. The Astalicia is the very last place for such a meeting. The Admiral will be marching right into Korea's den. True? I hope we don't end up regretting this. <laughs> Everything is regretting. There you are. 
We are eagerly awaiting your return. Welcome back, my friends. What news? So they have been stealing crystals from the coal boats. My thanks for solving the mystery and securing a meeting besides. Suffice to say, I accept Sikar's invitation and I would have you join me as my guest and witness. The future of Limsa hangs upon the outcome of this meeting and I would have the science present to bear witness. Yep, yep. Oh god, it's a mark. Look who's come crawling! Traitor! You can shove your piece! Welcome aboard, Admiral. I'll wager you don't remember me. Sickard. Acting captain of the bloody executioners at your service. It was kind of you to invite us. Now, if Captain Hillfear has a message for me, I bid you speak it. We have just the one demand. That you forget this bilge about making peace with the beastmen. We can't do that. Ours is a nation of pirates. Always has been. Always will be. Deny us our right to plunder, and you deny who we are. Too bloody right! Whoa. Pirates till we die! Whoa. What we want, we take! <laughs> uh, this would be a tough decision. Really? Piracy has no place in our future. Ding, ding, ding. What'd she say? Pirates have no place. Our nation has prospered through piracy, tis true. Yet it is but one part of our long and storied history. Centuries ago, our ancestors led a failed rebellion and were driven from their homes with little more than the shirts on their backs. In fear of their lives, they sailed south until they came to these shores. Forefathers, huh? Finding the land occupied by kobolds, however, they were forced to turn to piracy in order to survive. And survive they did. But not so long ago, when the Empire threatened to crush everything we'd built, we set aside piracy and joined hands with our neighbors. This, too, was in order to survive. And survive we did. Time after time we fought the Empire, and time after time we won, and through trade with our newfound allies, we prospered more than we ever did through pillaging and plundering. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love the story. <laughs> The Empire teeters on the brink of collapse. Ere long, provinces like Whirlit and Bosia and many others will regain their freedom. Bosja. When they do, our matchless fleet will lead the world in a new golden age of commerce. The tides favor us, and the ocean beckons with her vast bounty. The world in a new golden age. I would love to see that. Of flying ships, like a lot of um, huge flying ships. But if we cling to the old ways, this great ship we call Limsa will trade the boundless seas for a lagoon. So we scorn the world's wealth for a plundered pittance. Oh my then. god. What a true leader. I mean, very, very nice speech. Or shall we embrace change and thrive like our ancestors before us? The choice is yours. 
But if we are to prosper in the coming age, the whole of Vilbrand must become our ship. And a kobold and Sahagin our crewmates. Wow. Islands. <gasps> oh my god, look at that. Rousing words. What? Might even be some truth in them. But piratin's all we've ever known. And we ain't about to give it up just because you say so. Then attack your ships to the Empire. Use your pirate ships to loot Empire loot. <sighs> Still, we're all the Minsons here and no one wants a war. So where does that leave us? Long before you became Admiral, I heard you was captain of the League of Lost oh, Bastards. Oh shit. Is that true? Is he bringing up her past? If so, you'd know how we pirates settle our differences. A shootout? Yeah, a shootout. Confirm. Oof. A duel. Yes, a duel. True. Very well. As Admiral of Limsa Laminsa, I accept your challenge. My lady! I knew it. <laughs> the old classic way. She's, she's, she's been named an Admiral for a reason. This is intense. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and our last count. <laughs> Holy sh! <gasps> Whoa! Yep, she's called an admiral for a reason, people. This ain't over. Not till one of us is dead. Ah! Uh. Finish the job, or I will. Oh, the crewmates. Oh, the captain, um, Captain Riley. He'll, he'll, he'll fry, he'll fry. Yeah. It's the captain! Captain Hilfrey! Hilfrey. Ye fool! Twas over before it began! <laughs> he knows about, um, Admiral Melb. He's a, she's a sharp looker, wow. Admiral. Seems the whelps have been yapping while their master was abed. Oh my god, this Listen music well, no. all of ye. Since the signing of the Galadian Accord, we all of us have been part of the same crew. The crew with a good ship Limsa Laminsa. At the helm of that ship is the Admiral. And tis she who decides where we sail. Was I not clear on that point? Or did you forget whose deck you stand on? Nay? <laughs> then what in the seven hells are you playing at? <laughs> it's all we know, Captain. If we ain't pirates, what are we? Oh, yeah, I mean, you're right sometimes. You're bloody idiots is what you are. <laughs> idiots with your own lives ahead of ye. Ye can do anything ye want. Be anything ye want. We're pirates, I, And we pirates love our loot. But that ain't our first love. Our first love is the sea. The sea, and what she brings us, freedom. 
Yo ho, the pirate's life for me. So hold fast to that. Let the brine crusted usk that stands before you now be the last of them as new naught save out of steel. And make of yourselves a new breed of pirate! The future pirates. Lad. I made ye me right hand because I saw something in ye. And I still do. You have the makings of a captain. All you lack's the belief. You have a great future, so don't, you know. Well now. It seems we're of one mind after all. <laughs> Apologies for the misunderstanding, Admiral. We're with ye, wherever ye be headed. You have my thanks, Hilfir. <coughs> oh, he's sick, yeah. Father, is this his son? Your choice of dueling pistol did not escape my notice. <laughs> Good old Annihilator. Ender of many a proud pirate's voyage. Mm, yeah, he knows. She will not lose in a duel. Mistbeards vanished into legend. And it won't be long before I take my rest in the depths. Aww. Yeah, be that as it may. The old ways can only truly die when we've dealt the Empire the telling blow. There'll be stormy seas ahead, no doubt. But I'm trusting ye to steer us through to the other side. It will be done, my friend. Hmm. Well, that was uh, interesting, isn't that right? There are times when one must stand one ground, even if the cause of failure is beyond reckoning. The Emerald is just dead, and I have nothing but respect for her. As she continues to stir her nation through this period of transition, I pray the navigator will see to fit to fit her sails. When the discussion gave way to a duel, I fear what might unfold. Yet only a fool would undermine understanding the Admiral Sikat should discover it. True? Why I don't condone what Sikat has been doing? I know how difficult it can be to, be, to change course. It took me long enough to join the Scions, didn't I? True, Alize. Oh my god. Though I have anticipated a duel, I did not foresee Hilfry would intervene. But full glad that he did. It would have been a shame to kill that boy. <laughs> True? Instead, that whelp has learned a valuable lesson and we have made peace among ourselves. All that remains is to do likewise with our neighbours. I think she's talking about the beastman tribes. There are times... Okay, I knew that. Let's go. The great ship Billbrand. Now I need hardly tell you. But any attempt to negotiate with the tribe is doomed to fail unless their minds can first be wrestled from the grip of their gods. And so in the meeting we seek to arrange for the Kobolds. I would have you free the leader of Titan's influence. Leave it to us. We will open his ears to reason. You have my thanks. Ere we proceed, there is something you should know. Some fifty years passed, when the Sahagin swarm at our house in every greater numbers, Limsa entered into a covenant with the Kobolds. To men shall go the bounty of the sea, to Kobolds shall go the bounty of land. An ostensible, equitable arrangement 
conspicuously lacking in detail. I, inadvertently or not, the wording was ambiguous, and we took advantage of it, moving in it to claim the northern reach of the Lananosia, which the Kobots believe theirs. Bloodshed followed, then bloodshed to answer the bloodshed, and on and on it went, till even Ilm or Vilbrand bore the stain of our conflict. That is no history. You understand. It is the present, fresh and raw. And with their kindred blood yet on our hands, we will struggle to regain the Kobold's thrust, even should we cure their tempered. Admiral, you speak of obstacles. We are likely to encounter at the meeting. But as things stand, I see no reason why the Kobolds would agree to a meeting in the first place. And so we must prove a reason. I will restore their stolen crystals to them and personally deliver the cargo along with my apologies. Bait? They would welcome us into their midst not to speak of peace, but to have you at their mercy. Admiral. I... And given the wealth of crystals we will bring, I'll wager they will attempt to summon Titan there and then. Meaning a high priest would need to be present, to whom we could administer the cure. Precisely. He is the fish I would catch, but he will not be alone. Nay, he will have guards on hand, and they will lay down their lives to protect him. Hmm, yet a single death on the kobold's side would jeopardize our chance at peace, and there my venture founders. Yet it need not. What if we were to employ the conqueror's chain? Though we would still have to weaken the kobolds, it would allow us to subdue them without inflicting lasting harm. The artifact Miss Beard used to take goods and not life. Aye, that would serve well done, Marshall. Hmm, good idea. Chain the kobolds. So friends, what think of our strategy? The effects of tempering are cumulative, and we may safely assume that the High Priestess exposure to primal influence is extensive. It will therefore take a great deal of aether to reverse its effect, not to mention time. Time during which Alize would be defenseless. Even should we all look to her protection, I am not convinced we could keep an entire army of kobolds at bay. What? Well, I'm happy to take the risk. It's not as if we have any other choice, brother. Besides, it's what Teslin would do, and I have not followed her example. Oh my god, I remember this! Teslin! Oh god. Um, um, would even have a cure of tempering, much less a chance to bring peace to Bill, Bill Brand. Oh god, Teslin. So i going to kill that priest or die trying. That's my girl. They believe in you, Elise. <laughs> and I believe in you too, my friend. You and everyone. I know you'll keep me safe. It is settled then, since you are preparation and make for Camp Overlook, we will join you there anon. Oh god, I remember. I remember Teslin during um, Shadowbringers, where the Warrior of Light goes to the first, and then we saw Elise was fighting a, a Sin Eater. Oh my god! <laughs> this is for Teslin, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The Outer Lanos, yeah. Hey babe, be under no misprehension, the extent of the high priest tempering is like to far exceed that of Gabu. But then his was a relatively mild case, milder indeed, than the majority of those we wish to save. The coming mission will be a truer test for our treatment. I have no doubt that Elizabeth will succeed with the cure, if we can but afford her the time. We can. Alphano wasn't lying when he said it would be defenseless, so I'm calling on you all to give me the time I need. <laughs> Elise being a boss. Our sole purpose will be to keep you out of harm's way, girl. So leave that to us and focus on your own task. Indeed. And should you want for Aether, you need only say the word. 
Ah, uh, yes. Our good friend, Gaboo. Did you follow us here? There's something important that I want to say to the High Priest. Express, state, say. Please let me come with you, please. Aww. Oh. I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous. I need you to promise me that you'll stay here while it's safe, alright? Elise, you mother figure. <laughs> A big sister figure. My apologies for the wait. It took time, but we have secured our audience. As unfold as expected, at the mention of my returning their crystals in person, the kobolds suddenly remembered how keen they were to be reconciled. And so, in the glorious spirit of cooperation, we are to be received by Patrick Patriarch, by the Patriarch Zadar of the Second Order, who awaits our pleasure in the navel, navel, in the navel. If you are ready, let us proceed to the Ugamoro Mines at once. Here we go. Let's go. Where is it? Somewhere here? Oh no, 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 no. This is the Ugamaro... The Ugamaro... People... <laughs> their place of sanctuary. Somewhere here? Hello? Oh, okay. Got it. Well, let's go. Alize can be forgiven a certain amount of recklessness, <laughs> but if she goes so far as to contemplate sacrificing herself, I will remind her how she responded when I thought to do the same. Not that we will let it come to that, of course. Ready where you are, my friend. There's nothing more to say. I'm going to do this for Kabu and Teslin and anyone who has ever dreamed for a better future. Good for you, girl. I'm always with you. That Patriarch Zadar, if the name sounds familiar, is because he was the one who proceeded over the death of Gabu's parents. Hmm, I tried to reach out to him that day, one of my pleas to fall upon death ears. But this day will be different. We will reach out together, all of us, and we will take peace in our grabs. Marshal? The Conqueror's chains stand ready, but weaken your foes and it will see them subdued. Yes, let's do this. The Aetherite will bear us to our quarry. Should he make to summon Titan as I anticipate, we will halt the ceremony and restrain him. At this, all hell will break loose, and we will have an army of kobolds to entertain till as the work is done. Just remember, none must die. We weaken them and let In Zahir do the rest. Yes, ma'am. Is the priest gonna summon the Titan again? It is time. Stay the course, my friends. I spy calmer waters beyond thee, squall. <laughs> Poetry. Oh dear, dead bodies. I think he's gonna summon a primal. So this must be the patriarch. Nice mask, by the way. <laughs> nice hat. And the cavalry has arrived. <gasps> oh no. Well, I have a bad feeling though. Oh, I look so serious. I look so cool. <laughs> Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwib, Blufisvin. Admiral of Limsa Liminsa. I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. <laughs> you were foolish to come here. Stupid, unwise foolish. The Great Father shall have your souls for your folly. Knew it. Aye. Just as we thought. Yep, yep. Uh. 
All right. Now Let's do this. I say, quickly. You don't need to tell me. Let none pass. We must grant her as much time as we can. True. Let's go for this. Let's do this. Let the action begin. Oh my god, it's been a while. <laughs> um, okay. Come on, you guys. Come at me. The girl seeks to harm the patriarch with vile magics. Kill her, slaughter, slay, kill. We must protect Alizé. Yes, you the rat of the black girl. Holy shit, what was that? <laughs> that was freaking epic! Come, come here, come here. Come on, everyone. Follow me, follow me. Good boy. <laughs> that was freaking epic. Yes, it's ready. Go, Angelo. Ah, what sorcery is this? Ugh, this tempering is too severe. I can't finish this job. Press Alize. So one person ate her alone is not enough. Yeah, go half. Just what we need. Holy shit. Okay. You're not alone. All right. Come at me, people. Yeah. I am a death knight. Oh. They are on side. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh god, give me goosebumps every time. Alpha no. Let us lend Alize our aether. Understood. Here you are, Alize. Thank you, too. I'll give it another try. Oh no. Bombs! We can't let them get near Alize. Oh they are um Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I'm nearing my limit. Holy shit! I need a uh, curse. More of them. Spread out and hold them off. More! I need more ether. Oh shit! Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, good. Holy ow, that that hurt. That hurt so bad. Oh no! Damn it! Oh no 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 no! Okay, phew! Just a little more! Holy shit, what the hell? Ay uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell? There's too many! There are too many! Holy shit, this is crazy. Stand clear, all of you. Oh my god, what have you what are you doing? Oh no! Oh my god, that poor guy. Of all the recklessness things, Alize, now's your chance! Please let this work! My head, the pain, 
the pain. <gasps> ah, no. Please let me your ether too. Oh, of course, my girl. I'll give me. I'll give you my ether. My magic is yours. Use every power. Holy shit! I am. Oh. What the hell? Oh god, I'm hurt. No, no, you don't. It's too dangerous, my admiral. Oh no, what is he gonna? What's she gonna do? I made my decision before I came here. No matter what it costs me, Limsa will have peace. Oh no, she died. How dare you? Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Come at me, bro! Come at me! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna break you into pieces! I mean, uh, you're a rock, so I'm gonna break you! <gasps> oh my god, what's happening? Mm, there's a... Um, basic uh, mechanics. <laughs> we come here, you! Oh, I can read your movements! You boring second-hand rock splitter. You're not going anywhere. That doesn't hurt. Uh, that tickles. Whoa! Okay, I know this. Buster, whole ball drill. Boring. <laughs> Doesn't hurt me. Oh my god, almost, almost. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, the same skill he did again just now. Oh my god, I need to kill him quick, 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 quick before he runs all over the place. And he's down. Yes, finally. Hero, <gasps> a little more ether. I can finish this. God, my ether is depleting so fast. Yes, this will do. Here I go. Heal her, Elise. Heal the priest. Yes. Will it be enough? Oh my god. I think it did. Maybe. Did it work? I don't know, Elfino. I think so. What? <gasps> it worked. Yeah, it worked. Thank God. <laughs> My brothers. Oh dear. Oh no. Ah, ah. What is the meaning of this? Through your anger, you killed them. I'm sorry, <laughs> but they died sorry. by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. Hmm, yeah. Oh my god, that looks, um, creepy. <laughs> no, 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 no! Why? Why would I do such a thing? Influence, I guess, by the primer. <laughs> Oh no, Patriarch is gone crazy. We must run away. Yeah. Would that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. Who? Mm. 
Gabu. Isn't it Gabu? Yeah, confirm. Yep. Gabu! What are you doing here? Patriarch! Please listen to me. Hear! Heed! Listen! The Great Father we have been summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't Aww. either. There's been too much pain already. So please, end the suffering. What... what have I done? Well, it's not your fault. We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. Oh my dear, why is this music? This music is always made me tear. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. <sighs> oh, that was, um... Men cannot be trusted! The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea. But you broke the pact! Violated, breached, broke! Unready as we were, what choice had we but to call upon the divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None, and I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. A wise leader. Hmm. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt. And any who violate it shall face justice swift Ooh. and certain. Wow. <laughs> No, we won't be fooled. Not Aww. again. A race that is being bullied, you know. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Liminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world Whoa. and trade them in your stead. Holy shit. <laughs> that is, um, that, that is, uh, wow, that, that, that is wow. 
In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands <laughs> both near and far. Whatever you desire, the navigator as my witness, you shall have it. Wow. There will be no more man and beastmen. Just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world. You'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fooled, deceived, oh betrayed us. Oh my god, us. what do you want? Chocolate? <laughs> I mean, what do you want? Some more? What do you want? There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Oh, Gabu, thank you. Not all of us are, you know, jerks. That time's the charm. <sighs> you know, this is so fast. Yeah. I don't know what she's gonna do. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it. However much I might want to. Holy shit, what is she? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is death penalty. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Of course. What are you trying to see? <laughs> oh my god. Shooting you die, of course. Oh no. Pikachu face. Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. Hmm, but who are What comes after, I entrust to this man. Holy sh my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home. Oh my god, oh my god. Is this the end? I mean, is this the end of her reign? Oh my god. Oh dear. I like the pistol. Oh god. Well... My god, she just accepted, you know, it's time for her to go. Oh my god, I, I should have a button, I should intervene or something. Oh god. <gasps> what the? Oh yeah, I want to see. I want to see. Okay, she, he shoot this guy. Respect, res total respect for this girl. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not trust you. Not yet, but Gabu does, and I will trust him. Aww, hmm, wise words. Avenue is like, oh, thank God. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. 
Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. Yes. We're always ready to help. The Scions are there always to help you, Patriarch. Many and more of my brethren are yet in thrall to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, hmm. grateful. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Nalayan's men and cobalt. Tis we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. something. The animal seems hell's bent worrying me to death, but I suppose the end justify the means. Well fought, my friend. Well fought. The boo! I'm so glad we could sway the patriarch. Convince, persuade, sway! Thank you for making it possible. Thank you. The treatment may have restored the patriarch to his sense. But it was the Admiral and Gabu's words that touch his heart. This moment belongs to all of us, Keitaro. We couldn't have done it without each other. It has taken a long time, but the dream of the lasting peace with the Kobos may soon become a reality. And it is all thanks to your sister, Alize. In two separate worlds, the seed was sown. And through the determination of two indomitable women, they have quickened into this historic moment. I feel honored to have been present to see it. Me too, babe. She would see we have found a way forward with the kobolds. Next, we will help the Second Order to free their tempered brethren from thraldom. There is a far from the other order, of course, and it will take no small amount of time and effort to reach the rest. But reach them we will, however long it takes. True words. I would say that it was in your depth, but there has long been true, so instead I will say thank you for helping us to plot a new course, not only for Limsa Lominsa, but for Eosia. The Grey Ship Vilbrand. Oof, you know what? It has been a while. Hey babe, wanna go for a date? <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys so much um, for staying this long. Oh my god, it's a one hour, one hour long video. I thank you so much for viewing this channel and it's good to be back on Final Fantasy XIV because the story is just amazing. I hope you guys like the dub voiceover. It's amazing. I really like it. So please leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment section if you want. You know, I will see you guys again. Stay safe and I will see you again, my fellow Eosians.